So originally, the geisha beans come from Ethiopia, and they were first brought to Panama from Katia, this agricultural research center in Costa Rica, in 1963 by Don Pachi Seracin. He's a well-known um, character here in Panama. Th this geisha variety, it's especially resistant to coffee leaf rust, which is a big problem, and it's partial to high altitudes and cold weather. So it does well in these sort of extreme conditions. And we have a bunch of that up in our Chiriqui Highlands. So some of these trees were planted on farms in Costa Rica and Panama, but, but their cherries are different and they were typically just mixed with other varieties from the rest of the harvest. And previous to more recent decades, their flavor, their distinguishing flavor would be lost because they'd be mixed in with a bulk of other varietals and, and it, wouldn't, it wouldn't be so uh, distinguishable. And it wasn't until 2004 um, that the geisha started to draw worldwide attention, its cult status. And Panama, Panama's enterprising Finca es, Esmeralda, the Peterson family, decided to isolate its geisha production one year, partly because of its resistance uh, to, to the elements. They just decided to, to take a complete batch of geisha production, and they saw that it tasted very different, and they entered the beans in the 2004 Best of Panama competition, and that was a risky move. I mean, a very risky bowl because it was so different. Um, it's, it, people say it's got a more tea-like flavor, a more floral, vegetal sense. It's, it's hard for me to describe. The growers would do a much better job of it, but it, it has something special and it's, it's, very distinguishable even to amateurs when you taste it alongside, you know, typical varieties of coffee that you've been used to. Well, in 2004, not only did the geisha win big at the Best of Panama, but immediately afterward, it went on to break all existing online auction records. Um, it commanded an outstanding price for that time of $21 per pound, which was just unheard of. I mean, now it, coffee is going for thousands of dollars a pound, so it doesn't seem like such a big deal. But, you know, those 18 years ago, this was revolutionary. So since then, many farms in Panama and around the world have planted geisha with incredible results that have sort of helped raise the bar and the price of specialty coffee everywhere. But the the experts will tell you even even with all of that there's something very special about panama and the panama geishas